What is going on, everybody? Welcome to Atom RPG. Up and Atom. No, no, no. Up and Atom. Up and Atom. Okay, I'm gonna stop with my old school Simpsons reference over here. But this right here is an awesome, awesome little game that's in development at the moment. It's basically a love letter to the old school Fallout games, the old school Wasteland games. Or I guess even the, the latest Wasteland is still very really similar to what the original Wasteland had in mind. That being said, though, it's an awesome CRPG post-apocalyptic game. Without further ado, um, I'm going to show you a quick little cutscene right now that gives you the, uh, the entire background of the story, and then we'll jump into some gameplay here. Ninety eighty six, the year our world turned to ashes. The atomic flame, unleashed by the leaders of the East and West, like a genie from his bottle, circled the globe in the mere minutes and devoured it to the bone. Without sparing neither the innocent nor the guilty, without naming a victor to the bloody war, a nuclear blaze destroyed everything in its path, including the reasons for the conflict that sent the remnants of humanity back into the Dark Ages, back into the primeval state with no government, no technology, no culture, and no morals. 2005. 19 years have passed from the day of the Great Purge. Both once glorious empires and their loyalists now lie in ruins. However, amidst these ruins, new civilizations start to rise up to the unforgiving sun. From the rusted, radioactive derelict of the old world, new absent states, both brave and wild, emerge to join the never-ending battle for the right to exist on the planet, mutilated beyond recognition by the flames of apocalypse. Alrighty guys, so with that introduction cutscene out of the way here, I went ahead and I kind of like made my character ready so I wouldn't spend too much time doing that. Falcon 69, these are my stats, let's uh, go for it here. Alright, the sky looks so clear in these parts, makes you want to look at it for ages. Nice little sweater this guy's got rocking over here too, man. For a post-apocalypse, this is a really stunning sweater. <laughs> I wish I had a sweater like this. Wait a second. What was that rustling sound? Oh, that can't be good. Normally not a good thing when you're suddenly in the middle of the night surrounded by five dudes carrying random assortment of weapons here. So, from uneven shadows that are dancing around your campfire emerges a well-built man in his 30s dressed in a musty khaki uniform. Well, 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 what do we have here? Hope I'm not bothering you, comrade. The man stops before you and rubs his hands as if to warm himself, or to show you a formidable brass knuckles on his left hand. You look like a tourist, man. Nice tan, clothes in good condition, without holes or tears, and so much other stuff. I told you that sort of looked pretty baller. The man whistles, sizing up your equipment. It must be hard to carry such a weight on your shoulders. The stranger's face breaks into an ominous smile. I mean, me and my pals could help you. Well, not for free, of course, but for a very manageable price. What say you? Oh yeah, I think you're trying to rob me here, my friend. So you find another four human figures hiding in the dark of the night. And if before you still had some doubts about what is transpiring, now it's becoming painfully clear, you're about to get robbed. So we have a couple of options over here. Since I do qualify, or at least not qualify, but I have a high speech craft, we're going to be choosing that one. So listen, I agree that sharing is caring, but all I have here is a bare minimum for survival. Be a human being, leave me alone. I don't really see that happening, but let's give it a try. Success! The man smiles and winks at you. Don't sweat, rookie. We won't hurt you. Just wanted to browse through your stuff for a sec. Who knows, maybe we won't take everything. And you can lie down and rest while we're at it. What do you mean? You're about to get knocked out. Mama said knock you out. Take the loot, men. We have a good catch tonight. In case you're wondering, there's no way to get out of that one, so that's one of those predetermined stuff there. So even though I was successful, I'm still gonna get robbed. And Anita did. As a matter of fact, the only thing they left behind was an empty canteen, so I'll, <laughs> I guess I'll grab that. 
We need some water eventually, right? So we have an empty canteen now. This is gonna be our first map. There's nothing here to check out in case you are wondering, but I will give you a small little scroll through the entire map over here. Normally, once you start, you know, getting further into the game, you'll be able to go and check out some loot and houses like that one over there to see if there's any goods. But right now, at the moment, there's nothing here. I know because I already took this out for a spin, so... Alrighty. Now, as you guys, as I mentioned, this is an early access title, so the game is not complete just yet, so, you know, just keep in mind that even though the game offers right now in this current stage a lot of gameplay, it's still not complete. So, you know, just keep that in mind in case. I'm doing a one-shot at the moment as well, in case you guys are wondering. If you want to see a bit more of this, do let me know and I might cover more of it. But at the moment, it's not complete, so it's not something I'm focusing on making an entire series from. But I don't mind making a couple of extra videos in case you guys want to see a bit more. Uh, before you stands a strongly built man aged around 30. He is wearing a weathered military jacket and holds a large gun in his hands. On further inspection, he seems like an... Like an affable guy that would probably welcome a conversation with a random stranger. Hey there, comrade. And hello to you too. The man coughs and spits on the blade of grass, then removes his hand from his rifle, letting it hang there by its handmade leather belt. Nice to meet you. My name is Jan. May I ask what brings you to our village? Uh, I'm looking for someone, apparently. Someone who lives here? Not really. Okay then. So, how may I help you out? Uh, well, I wanted to ask you a few questions, apparently. Fine, I'll try to answer. Uh, was there a troop of military types in your village lately? That could be the people that we're with trying to find Bunker 317, so let's ask about that one. Funny you should ask, a squad of troops came through the village not long ago. Can't say if they were military, though. But they had some serious-looking dudes, good weapons on them, and their attitude was pretty militant. They were even wearing uniforms of sorts. Some serious guys, I tell you. Real serious. They bought some water, rested for a day near the walls, and moved on. I got to chatting with the youngest guy among them. He said they were an exp expedition into the ruins, probably looking for some pre-war tech, or what remains of it. God help them. They seem normal enough. Uh, can you point me into the direction they were of those ruins? Jan takes your map, and after looking at it for a while, draws a small black cross in one spot. After looking at the map again, he returns it to you. Here it is, not too far away. Alrighty. So, we can continue talking to him and ask about, like, rumors and stuff like that. One of them's fairly cool because it talks about, like, some sort of, um, abandoned Boy Scout camp that might have either been overrun by mutants or the Boy Scouts themselves have turned into, like, these giant mutants or whatever. So, um, again, if you want to talk some more, which I could, but the game is a lot of dialogue at the moment, especially in the start of Village, so I want to show you some actual gameplay outside of the Village, so I'm trying to speed it up here a little bit for your benefits. So I could get a lot of this into the video. That's the one thing about these games that it takes a while to kind of get going, so I hope you understand if I'm speeding it up here to some degree. Um, over here, you can't really chat with these guys, but this guy's apparently protecting the safe, which is the, the Village's taxes, so I think maybe if you're a scumbag, you could probably sneak in there and steal rubles. Obviously, I don't have the really high sneaking skill to do that. I might have to wait until they're asleep or something. I might give it a try later. We'll see. Do I like to be a scum in these games? Yes, absolutely. Lock picking, speech craft. <laughs> I'm a scumbag in these games. Over here, you can buy some stuff as well. Um, we have no money because we were robbed, so unfortunately, we can't do much over here for now. Oh, a customer. Welcome to the tavern. You travelers sure keep on coming. What do you mean? Well, you're right here now. Not long ago, a band of armed people came through the village. People with guns usually mean trouble around these parts, but they were pretty civil. Just like real army men. Can you tell me more? Uh, not much more to tell. They were chatty. Our village head wanted to speak to them about some issue, but they just left. So I don't think he struck any deal with them. They talked to our gate guards more to anyone else. His name is Jan. If you're interested in knowing about those guys, I suggest you speak to him. Yeah, anyway, maybe you need a drink or some food. Uh, let's see. Any jobs? You know, you better talk to my si- Yeah, okay, so that's the job thing I needed to do. Everyone's looking for work around here, but I'm afraid I can't help you personally. What I can do is recommend you to Comrade Kovalov, our village head. He always has some work to be done, but he's a respected man around here. He won't do business with someone he never seen before. Recommending a stranger to him is sort of unprofessional. Maybe if you help me with some chores first, I know I can trust you. And this is finally the- the mushroom thing. Oh, well, I'm ashamed to ask, but I need some toadstools. I don't have enough free time to do it on my own. Maybe you can help me out. Picking up just five st toadstools would do. They grow on the other side of the fence, not far from here. Are you up to it? Now, let's see if my speech craft, which is at 50, lets me get through this without actually doing it. Failure, not high enough. You know, my family is quite respected in these parts, and I won't gamble a reputation on someone I don't really know. 
If you can change me your mind about the mushrooms, come find me later. Okay, fine, I'll get you the mushrooms. Thanks, I'll be waiting. Alrighty, so we have to go outside and find some of these toads to get the reputation for talking to the village head afterwards. So we're gonna come through here. It is daytime at the very least, so we'll have an easier time spawning enemies too. The weird thing about this is that, well, it's not really weird, but I don't have any weapons, and to my understanding, there is no way to get any weapons here beforehand. Although, I do know where we could find some rubles. Now, over here we have Spider. That's going to be our very first toad. So right here, this is being protected by a spider. And apparently a wasp, too. I think there's another spider somewhere over there, too. Now, these aren't really too difficult fights. You can do them barehanded. The only problem is, is I kind of lack on strength a little bit. Because I'm going more for the speechcraft and... I guess, like, sneaky type of method. I'm not really too strong in hand-to-hand -hand combat. But if I come down over here, this I found when I played earlier. And it's going to be a secret stash if we pop this open. We got 20 rubles, coffee, and some tea as well. And we also have my bird in the background going crazy. You guys can hear that? So let's take all here for now. I'm not sure if that's enough to buy a weapon, though, is my only concern. Let me run back to the shop and see if I can buy something, though. Alrighty, guys. So unfortunately, no such luck. We don't have enough money to buy. The machete is at 83. We have enough to go up to, like, 38 rubles. So not enough for at least a weapon here. As I mentioned, you can still do this hand-to-hand, -hand, but I wanted to kind of simplify it for myself here. So this is going to be our first toadstool. There is any enemies around here? There should be. Surprised I'm not seeing any. Really? There, there we go. We have apparently some sort of giant worker ant. Spooky. Oh, is that? Oh, that's extra stat. Oh, another statue. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Maybe. Maybe with enough luck. <gasps> and got ourselves a knife. All right. Hold up. Hold up. I want to equip you. Slot number one. There we go. So we now have a stabby, stabby knife. Very good. That's a lot better than just fisting it out with these um, enemies out here. Yes, I'm aware I just said fisting it out. Not that type of fisting out, I assure you. Okay. That'll be toaster number one. Where did that workaround go? Oh, there it is. Rushing right towards me. How you doing, buddy? Alrighty, well, luckily I don't have to punch you. I could go ahead and stab you. Now my chance to hit will be 57% for this one. Let's see if we do... An aimed attack. Now for the aimed attack, I think we could actually choose what part of the body we want to hit. So, 71% chance to hit the body for that one. Let's go for the aimed one. That would be six points. So unfortunately, we won't be we won't be able to attack any more times just that one. But considering the slash is four, the stab is three. We could actually get two stabs with this one at 57% each time. What about slashing 43? So we could try two stabs at 57 or go for an aimed attack only one time, 77% chance. Let me go for two stabs then. Of course. Okay, we got one. He's almost dead. Perfect. We have two more spots to move. I am going to... I guess I could move back and make him use his own action points too. Yeah, I'll try to do that. And he missed. Perfect. Now... Because he's almost dead, let's make sure that we actually get this kill. But let me go for an aimed attack now, and let's go for... 71. Got him! Alright. Worker ant is dead. And unfortunately, he dropped nothing for me. I was hoping for something we could sell, but so be it. At least now we have the very first toadstool. We need four more. I'm just happy we have a weapon for this one. So now I gotta be really careful and keep an eye out. Make sure there's no other little... stashes that can help me out with this. Because I knew about the one down below that I showed you guys, but I was not aware about that one, so... I think if I have my attention skill higher up, it would show you if there's something around. Speaking of which, uh, my dude's kind of hungry. Uh, might want to be careful with that. Might want to be careful with that. I gotta feed you at some point, huh? Alright, so... Wasp and a spider. Toadster number two. Another spider down there, too. I think we only aggroed one of them thus far, though, which is fine. So... Let me move back and have you come after me. Oh no, we aggroed more than just one. Wasp and spider. Okay, that's not too bad, I guess. Let me drop one more time back. Perfect. Now we have a chance to start off with this guy. So if I go for a... St and, no, let's go with the... Stabby Stabby with 57% chance. Let's go for it. Missed the first one. Come on, buddy. Hey! One hit a kill with the stab. Perfect. And my turn. Come over here, Mr. Wasp Man. Come on down. Uh, 
I think this should get you close enough for me to get a new attack in. Yeah, perfect. Stabby. Yeah, 57. Slightly injured. Oh, wow. Two stabs and you're still alive. Fairly surprising. And he missed. Dude, come on. <laughs> come on, man. One HP damage. All right, let's go with the, the aimed one now because this guy is kind of a pain in the ass to hit now. So we'll go aimed and let's go for body. Not enough to kill you. Wowee, dog. How about we go for a uh, stab now? Oh. <laughs> you would dodge. Luckily, I dodged too. All right, come on, dude. For real. Go down already. All righty. Second dude down and we got 50 experience as well. Go on down here. Check out this hunger thing. I can't feed you with something, right? Don't think I want to eat that. Don't think coffee will do it. I might have to go back to town and buy some food. Yeah. All right, for now, let's just pick up this toadstool, though. Didn't trigger you, surprisingly. Okay. So, we have a couple of graves. Avoid that spider if we can. And down here will be where the fisherman's at, where we got the first bit of loot. Not seeing any toadstools around here, though. Nope. No, I think we're good. Alrighty. So, anything else for me to gather around here? Where do you check that out? Guess I could try talking to you. See what your deal is. I know there's another toast over there as well. Let's find out if there's anything for me to learn from this guy. How you doing, fisherman? Before you stands a tall, gray-haired man in a scuffy-looking sweater. He looks at you suspiciously and without blinking. There's a knife in his hand that's pointing in your general direction. From the look of the fishing poles scattered in the shore, he was fishing before you arrived. Yo, dude, I'm not here to steal from you. I just wanted to talk. Who are you? I don't know you. Get away from me. Whoa, calm down, man. I'm just passing through. Yeah. Oh, that's just what you're saying. I know you travelers from Adam. The moment I turn my back on you, I'll get knifed. The problem for you is I don't have any money or any food. So it's best you move along. Go con some other townies. Freaking adventure. <laughs> uh, I just wanted to ask a few questions. The man has a short inner struggle before he finally puts down the knife and squints his eyes at you. Fine. I'm sorry. My nerves are pretty shot nowadays. What did you want to ask? Um, how's the fishing? Caught anything recently? Actually, I'm starving, so that would be a good idea for me. Somewhat. This pond is pretty small, but there's plenty of fish in there. The problem is that old old dumb. Even those critters learn over time, and now they aren't biting as fast as they did before. Can I fish too? You want to fish, eh? Uh, maybe you can. It's just that you don't really know the local fish like. The real gourmets in these pots, no worms for them. They like bait made from all the critters around. The giant ants, wasps, and spiders. Well, there's plenty of those around. The fisherman gives you a crooked smile and spits through his teeth. Yep. There's many of those mutants and freaks in these parts, but how would you like, but how would you know which of the limbs and organs are fit to make bait? I wager you don't know, am I, right? So here's what we're gonna do. Go to the nearest pub and get something strong. For that, I will teach you the basics of bait harvesting. Just remember, I don't want anything that the, they mix themselves. Normal pre-war alcohol only, and the harder, the better. All right. So, we have apparently a quest from this fella here too. He'll teach me how to fish if I bring him some pre-war booze. I'm worried about this hunger thing here. But let's get the third toadstool, I guess, and maybe we'll head back to town and see about getting this food situation under control. More than likely, I triggered you as well, huh? Alrighty. Let's see about dropping down here and letting him come towards me. The... perfect. Perfect. Okay. You were such a hassle to bring down earlier, so you know what we might have to do here? I have to go for some aimed attacks, so... That worked. 5 HP damage. He's almost dead. Perfect. And we have enough for maybe one more attack. Let's do the... Yeah, let's do the aimed one again. That went a lot easier this time. That was so much easier. Alright, Spider-Man, you want to come at me? Do your thing, man. Uh, come close to me. There you go. That's perfect. So we'll do aimed again. Oh, <laughs> that was good. He's almost dead. Uh, one more should do it. Oh, you scumbag, you. You scumbag. Oh, really? This is what we're doing now? So now it's not the other guy dodging, it's you. Two down. The unfortunate part here is that I'm killing these critters right now. And assuming we have the skill this guy's going to teach me, I'd probably be getting parts of their bodies right now for the bait. 
So maybe it's probably in my best interest to get that skill before I kill the remaining ones on this map so I could get some bait so we could fish because right now my hunger meter seems to be in red. I'm not sure exactly how that works out, but being in red and the hunger part cannot be good. So I think we're going to go back to town over here and ask about this alcohol. Although it does seem right to time with this video too. Oh boy. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I hope you enjoyed it. As I mentioned, this is kind of like one of those games that takes a while to get going. So at least I was able to show you some of the combat and some of the locale and stuff like that. If you want to see a bit more, let me know in the comments. Let me know by leaving a thumbs up. And we can indeed do that. Just keep in mind, it's not a complete game just yet. So there's only so far we can cover. All the information for the game will be down below. I'm really enjoying it this far. And especially if you're a fan of the old school Fallouts and Wasteland games, I think you'll probably get some pretty good mileage from this. It's not too expensive. I think it's like $15, which isn't really too bad for a CRPG. But again, if you want to wait till it's more developed, that's not a bad idea either. I will catch you next time.